the Fitzroy that did work at Malta was Roland, her husband, and he was a part of the project I ran called PU, <laughs> Propellant Utilization. We obtained an Army contract for the uh, Atlas program, and it was very urgent. They were finding their residual uh, fuels uh, left in the tank were limiting the range of the Atlas. That is your mixture ratio for stoichiometric combustion, that is optimum rocket thrust, uh, could vary somewhat. You're liable to end up with oxidizer that you're carrying and have been carrying at penalizing your range or fuel. So you want the propellant to be utilized at the right ratio, essentially all the time, so that when one went empty, the other one did. Well, that was the project that I had with uh, the Air Force, as I say. Roland Fitzroy is a remarkable fellow. He's a Union graduate. He was assigned to censor. The way we solved the problem of propellant utilization was to put neutrally buoyant particles, bunches of them, accurately counted, and distribute them in the liquid oxygen or the fuel and the fuel tank. And then the random distribution gave us a basis of calculating how fast they were going out or one is slowing up. The ratio was changing. So you shot these particles through something where you would count, count them as they flash by. And we had solid state stuff at that point and we could tally the number of markers that we had in each tank and how it was flowing. And if it's running behind, they had a valve that could control the ratio. So it's fairly simple to understand, but difficult in making. The particles we came up with to be neutrally buoyant, we tagged with fluorescent dyes so that when we hit them with UV light, they would blink. Now all we got to do is collect and count them. And we could do that with the UV focused on the throat of a little venturi where the particles came through as a sample of the fuel flow or oxidizer. Roland was responsible for the counter of the uh, oxygen and fuel so that when the particle went through and flashed, it would get counted. We had uh, this assignment. We set up an experiment where we had the full flow of the Atlas missile. It was abbreviated in, in size of uh, propellant and oxygen, but the real thing. And it came down to an acceptance test where we had to show that the system would operate and empty these two tanks simultaneously which we did. And Roland, at the kind of a critical moment, uh, was unsatisfied with the flash level of the particles in his checkup. So he saved the day. The instrument that he had was really a piece of plastic, clear plastic, so get the UV in and make the uh, had a Venturi in it to speed it up to get the flash, but it was getting dull. Uh, so the morning of the final test, Roland went out and bought a 25 cent tube of Colgate toothpaste, and he shined up the Venturi, which was the plastic optics, and that worked. And I think I've got, he did, Saved, he saved the toothpaste and we solved it. But he had a career with uh, uh, General Groves and the AEC and big boy bomb days, uh, very secret, classified.